So I had on a super plus and two panty liners yesterday. Two. Do you know that I legit bled through all of that and when I woke up this morning, it was a safari <laughs> of blood all over the place, all over my underwear, all over my pajamas. I'm surprised it wasn't on the sheets. Poor guy is sleeping with Bloody Mary. And on that, guess all we can say, like Jesus, the blood still works. Somebody's a big girl. Look at you crawling. Look at you crawling like a big girl. That's my saya, saya, saya. Oh, you grab it, Desire. Desire, let it go. Ah, oh, I love you. I love you, Saya. Oh, okay. We're turning this off. When you're on the elevator because your child Here. wants to just be on the elevator, there's no particular reason Hurry why up. you're on the elevator Hurry other than him fulfilling his childlike fantasies. That's it. So I want you to, uh, to tell me about your last night. Oh my Did god. Did you have the full on? Was it? Listen, this is like I am back and beware. I um, I didn't get a period with Cherie forever. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. literally forever. I, I nursed him for 14 months. I don't think I got my first first period until he was like over one year old. And now it was that long. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I was like, oh, and the sites I was reading, I, I read that when you're nursing, you don't get a period at all. Like the whole time you're nursing. But recently, last month, I started spotting this nasty brown scenario of. I don't know what it was. Stuff. It was just gross. I was like, oh, maybe I'm having a miscarriage, you know? So I didn't think anything of it. It lasted three days. It was brown. I only needed a panty liner. Moved on with my life. Miscarriage. That's what I thought. You thought I you were pregnant? I mean... You thought you were pregnant? <laughs> That's another video. Uh. <laughs> but then, um, so then, I, I didn't think anything of it. And then I didn't, you know, I've been counting the days. So I didn't get it. My, my my period this time I didn't get it um, like 28 days it, maybe it's like 31 or 32 so I'm at the wedding I'm having a good time I go to the bathroom I'm like oh my god we have to leave oh, I dropped my thing hold on guys you got what? I dropped my newspaper oh okay so I'm like we have to go so we go um, and you know it's it's red though it's not brown it's like red on the tissue so we leave, and when I get home, uh, I, I put on another panty liner because I'm thinking, you know, what's the big deal? Oh my God. The next day, which was yesterday, I had to put on my first tampon in like a year and a half, you know? That was awkward. So I put on a regular because I'm thinking, big deal. But no, it was the biggest deal. So I'm sitting there talking with my husband and before I know it, I put on a panty liner just because I already had it on and it was like coming out as we're talking, but I'm thinking <laughs> it must just be, it must just be liquidy. I'm not thinking like it's a major, you know what I'm saying? Like full fledged. I'm just like, yeah, I'm like, okay. So I get there. Oh my God. I needed to wash my underwear out. It was 
gucky. Oh, it was red. It looked like I had surgery, like when I had my C-section. That's how much blood it was. So fast forward to today. Last night I put on a super plus because I had been going through supers all day. I'm like, wow, I've never, I've never bled like this in my life. Like never. Like not even before, you know, kids. And I've heard that the more kids you have, the worse your periods are. But I thought it was a myth. But no, let me tell you. Well now we can start trying for baby number three. I, uh, yes, you're right. Uh, babe, what I used to say to you every time you got your period. Babe, you're a woman. I say, babe, congratulations. You're a woman. Like, what does he know? What, how, who does he think he is that he gets to tell me congratulations? Like, this is celebratory. Somebody who doesn't get a period, right. obviously. Right, because the blood is, oh my God. The blood still works. Woo! I need to work on my ribs. Our neighbors are moving. I'm like, they're moving, man. That's what's up. Man, emptiness? Can you say emptiness? I thought someone just called your name. <laughs> Did you think that too, Sai Girl? You vlogging? Tell them how you feel. Say, where's my dad and where's my brother? Get some food, food, food. Food, food, food. Food. Much. Oh shoot, the neighbors are moving. Well, yeah, it's a U Haul box. Alright, ready to eat some food? Let's fix your shirt up. I'm going to tell you guys why life is so good right now. Okay, it's just getting better and better and better. Um, I don't know if you've noticed in the car, but Saya hasn't been um, sitting in her regular seat, which was this right here, our Britex seat. This is what uh, Sharif, this was his original seat, and when Saya was born, it was in her seat. Well, the reason why is because she's outgrown it. How was that better for Felicia and I? Because we don't have to lug around this huge thing with this baby. It just makes it just makes life so much easier that we no longer have to use this. I'm so happy about that. Things are looking on the up and up. I want you parents to hit the thumbs up button if you know what I'm talking about. The pains of carrying around this heavy car seat and as soon as your child grows up, it's like oh, it's such a relief. Okay, so my kids are um, preoccupied. My daughter is sleeping. And my son is watching his program. Um, and this gives me time to work out. Now, I know that Saya isn't going to be asleep for a long time because she's been pretty active throughout the day. And Sharif's program only runs for about 22 minutes. So I have to get it in at home rather at the gym so the mission of this message is to inform and and let you all know that i'm trying my best and to to, to stay on the track so you guys try to do the same thing if possible Spider-Man fights. Oh yes, you are the Spider-Man. Yeah. All right, Spider-Man, go to bed now. 
Good night. But the door is locked. Oh, you want me to help you with the door? Okay, I'm coming. What a liar! Who is this? Dad! I'm Spider-Man! It's bedtime. Spider-Man goes to bed? Saya, who is that? Who's behind there? No fighting, Sharif. No fighting your sister tonight. But I'm Spider-Man. Yes, I know you're Spider-Man. I fight. Spider-Man goes to sleep right now. <laughs> Saya. Spider-Man goes to sleep, Reef. And then Spider-Man wakes up and then he fights, okay? Yeah. I fight. I So I went through Super Plus tampons. And I put two pads side by side, or two panty liners side by side. And I still had a bloody massacre. Now, I'm not sure how many other women experienced this six months after giving birth. Well, actually, really seven. But I have that many one in the beginning. But it's real. The plus is that when you breastfeed, you do get that six-month grace period where you may or may not get an administration. And there are a multitude of health benefits when you are nursing mom. But one that I'd like to highlight for the mothers is if you do it for two years or more, it greatly reduces your chances of getting breast cancer.